Hello everybody, this is Rock Card Gamer 45 here to do something that I've wanted to do for quite a long while now and that is my list and ideas for new monsters slash returning monsters in a new Doom sequel or at least a Doom DLC but I in software I didn't really want to do DLC that might change because of the multiplayer Hopefully it changes, but if not, it should hopefully be in a new sequel. And these are just the monsters that I personally would like to either make a return of just the monsters based around that idea. And I'm going to do two parts. In this episode, I'm going to talk about the monsters that I would like to see return and what I would like to see change about them. And in another video, I would like to talk about new monsters in general, just like new complete ideas. So that's I said this video, I'm going to talk about some monsters I would love to see return. So let's get started. The first monster I would like to see return is a monster that hasn't got much love recently in Doom games, and that is the Arachnatron. Now some people would just see this as like a miniature spider mastermind, but I don't see it like that. I think it's like it's, com it's a complete new monster itself. It, it does have the same sort of designs of a Spider Mastermind, but the weapons, the sounds, and everything completely different, not like the Hell Knight and Baron. They obviously are based around each other. So I would love to see the Arachnatron make an appearance back in the new Doom game. And I would like, the changes I want to see to it, I still want it to use its plasma gun, and I want it to use it quite well. Possibly like a plas double plasma gun, like in Doom 64. But I would also like to see it have, like, a very special like a special attack where it uses the gauss cannon or something like that where it has a, it charges up his attack it does it rarely and it's pretty easy to avoid but if you do get hit by the gauss cannon or some other form of plasma it really will do damage to you yeah i just think that's a good idea i really would like to see the plasma the plasma gun i would like to see the arachnatron in a new doom game because i just love to see the design of it with a sort of like i think it would just look very cool yeah, pretty, pretty cool. Another new enemy that I would like to see, or at least a returning enemy that I would like to see, is actually the Pain in the Mental. This is where many people go, What? The Pain in the Mental? Are you being serious? But it's not the. It's not the Arachnatron, really. He hasn't had much love recently. Although some people are enjoying the, not seeing the Pain in the Mental, but I like to see old Doom Monsters return. I think the Pain in the Mental would actually look pretty good in the new Doom graphics. But I think his attacks would probably change. Like maybe it would spawn its own complete new monster. Like in general, it won't spawn lost souls. Like it spawns something like a lost soul. Because if it continuously spawns lost souls, like the new lost souls in this game, it'd be pretty horrible. Because the new lost souls in this game are so irritating, even more irritating than there was another one to avoid. So that'd be pretty annoying if it did that. So that's why I think it should maybe create a lost soul had it was in Doom 3 or something like that. Like its own little flying monster. Yeah, I think that'd be cool. Um, maybe it can also produce projectiles as well, like plasma or fireballs, just to change it up a bit. Yeah, I think that'd be a pretty cool idea, but I'm not expecting to see the pain in the mental anytime soon, if I'm honest. Also, I would love to see the arts file return. I mean, it'd be really cool to see the arts file. And I reckon if the arts file did return, it have like the same attack patterns or something related to Doom 3 because I thought that was actually really solid how it did that I don't think the paint I mean the archvile would be able to resurrect monsters because they sort of dissolve when they die in this one so I think it also be able to create its own monsters which would be pretty cool and hopefully it does like really cool fire attacks like maybe fire attacks on the ground and fire projectiles at the same time I'm not, I don't think I see it how it was in the original Doom, where it sort of like takes over your screen. It won't be like that, but I really do want to see, I'd be pretty interested to see how there's an attack now. So, hopefully they'll be in the game, but I'm not too sure if they will, because it seems like they replaced them with the summoner, if I'm honest. But it'd still be pretty cool to see these. Maybe even as a boss, just that one arch throw or something, as a boss. Just giving a bit extra health, that'd be pretty cool. I think that should be a very good idea. 
that's pretty much all the monsters that are in the original Doom and Doom 2 that I've talked about. So now I just want to talk about how they can edit or change monsters in the future. And especially the thing that I want them to change is the Spectre. Because we see the Spectre very, very late in the game. But it's very easy. It's easier than the Demon. It's like it doesn't have a shield. It's very noticeable. I was hoping the Spectre would be like it is in Brutal Doom. But like, you can only see its eyes, or you can only maybe hear it, or something like that. Because I want to make it a bit more challenging, because the Spectres were not challenging this game. They're pretty cool to see them back, but they just weren't challenging. So if I can make them a bit more health, a bit more armour, and change the way you see them, like only its eyes you see or something, I think that would be pretty cool. And, yeah. Possibly, also, they could change... The man cubus, the baron, and the caca demon's death animations. I, what I mean is, I, more glory kills. They, they don't have as much glory kills as the other enemies in the games, which is kind of a shame. Because imps and like lower monsters, they have so many different ways to kill them. But these only have one, two, or possibly three. So if I could add multiple different ways of killing the caca demon and the baron, it'd be really good. I mean, that's a solid idea. And possibly they could also change the weapons that the possessed securities in that use. Because it's always the same gun. I mean they could even change it up a bit to make them use a plasma or a rocket launcher. Just to make it a bit more challenging in the base levels. A lot of people probably won't agree with me on that one. Because they don't want it to become like, too annoying. I don't want every single one of them to have a plasma gun or a BFG or something. Because that would just be ridiculous. But I just want them to have a different attack pattern. Because they're all the exact same and it does get a bit annoying. A bit boring. I won't use the word annoying, that's not fair. Yeah. So anyway guys, this is Rock Card Gamer 45 here with my suggestion list for new monsters in a new Doom game. I don't know if all these will actually come true or, or if any of them come true. But this is just personally what I would like to see. And if there's anything that you guys would like to see change about the monsters or new monsters in general, just comment down below please. I'd love to hear from you guys. And yeah, it's been Rock Hard Game 45. Stay awesome, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.